Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new ASUS Tough A17 gaming laptop. And this is one I've been waiting on for a little while now, mainly because of the new CPU. We've got Zen 4. This is actually using the Ryzen 9 7940HS, which offers absolutely amazing performance. And as we know, the 7940HS is an APU, but with this gaming laptop, they needed a little more power to get you up and going. So this is paired up with an NVIDIA RTX 4060 with 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM. So this thing should be putting out some pretty decent performance, and I know there's some people out there that aren't into the tough brand of laptops, but personally, I've had really good luck with them. My main gaming laptop is actually a tough laptop with an 11th gen Intel, so it's a couple years old, but it's paired up with an RTX 3060, and it's still going strong. Since we're working with an A17, we do have a 17.3 inch display, and with the RTX 4060, you can get some 1440p games out of the way, but I think Asus kind of did the right thing here and only implemented a 1080p display. So we've got that 17.3 inch anti-glare IPS display, it also supports G-Sync, and we've got a refresh rate up to 144 Hz on this display. In this video, we've got a lot to cover. I'm really interested in checking out the CPU and GPU performance, but before we move any further, I do want to mention that this review wouldn't be possible without the help from Micro Center. So, this video is sponsored by Micro Center. If you're not familiar with Micro Center and you're a tech enthusiast, then you really should be. This is an awesome store that you can actually head in and put your hands on the product before you buy it. Whether you need a monitor, some RAM, a CPU, a GPU, Raspberry Pi, printer, basically anything tech related you can pick up in Micro Center stores. They've got 25 stores nationwide with a new one opening in Indianapolis by the end of the summer and two more by the end of 2025. And by the way, if you sign up for Micro Center's email list and visit the Indianapolis store when it's open, you can get a 128 gigabyte flash drive for free. And by the way, May is desktop month at Micro Center, be it in-store or online. They've got a lot of great desktops to choose from, pre-built, so like this Lenovo Legion Tower 5. It features an AMD Ryzen 7 5700G, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and an RTX 3050 graphics card. Or if you're looking for something with a bit more power, this PowerSpec G441 has the brand new Intel Core i7-13700KF, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. This thing can definitely put the power down. So basically, whatever your tech needs are, Micro Center's got you covered. The Tough A17 does come with a 240 watt power supply. We've also got that backlit keyboard. It's a single zone backlit keyboard, so we can't fully adjust every single key. But from within Windows, we can use Armory Crate to adjust the colors and the cycle mode. So there's a lot to choose from here. We've also got a really nice oversized trackpad. Key travel's pretty decent. It's not a mechanical keyboard, but it'll definitely get you by. Taking a look at the I.O. over here on the left hand side, we've got a gigabit Ethernet port, full size HDMI 2.1. We've also got two USB-C ports. One of these is USB 4, and this laptop actually supports 100 watt quick charging. The other USB Type-C is 3.2. We've also got a full-size Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Over on the right-hand side, we don't have much going on, but there is another full-size 3.2 Gen 1 port. Just a little extra I.O. for us. I'm really excited to show you what this laptop can do, but first things first, we need to check out the specs. So like I mentioned, for the CPU here, we've got the AMD Ryzen 7 7940HS, based on Zen 4, 8 cores, 16 threads, a base clock of 4 GHz, and a boost up to 5.2. I'm telling you, even though this isn't AMD's flagship Ryzen 7000 series mobile chip, it is their flagship mobile APU, and this thing offers desktop class performance for sure. And since the 7940HS is an APU, we do have Radeon 780M graphics. They're based on RDNA 3. That's our iGPU, and these will boost up to 2800 MHz. So if you're doing indie gaming and you want to save some battery, you can always utilize that built-in iGPU. But for AAA gaming, we also have that NVIDIA RTX 4060. 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM, and this will do up to 140 watts, so it's a full power 4060 laptop variant. And we've got a boost up to 2370 megahertz with this. This laptop came pre installed with 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM running in dual channel, and it's running at 4800 mega transfers per second, but you can upgrade to 32 if you wanted to. We've got a 1 terabyte PCIe 4.0 NVMe SSD. 
A beautiful 17.2 inch 1080p display at 144 hertz with G-Sync technology. And of course, we've got Windows 11 installed, which is great for top tier gaming on a laptop like this. So I've been messing around with this laptop for about four days. And you know, if you want to get a little more performance out of it, you can use a third party app or you can use the built-in armory crate. This is great for adjusting the built-in RGB on that keyboard. You can set up a custom color profile for the uh, screen itself but their power profiles are really where it's at with Armory Crate. We've got the Windows Profile, Silent, Performance, Turbo, and Manual. And I'm gonna tell you right now that this AMD Ryzen 7940HS can hit around 74 watts if you want it to. And from Armory Crate, we can set the TDP all the way up to 80 watts so we can get the maximum performance out of this CPU. And uh, yeah, I mean, at 80 watts, this thing is incredible. We've also got a fan curve that we can adjust. And from Armory Crate, we can also overclock the RTX 4060. For me, I've taken it up just a little bit to see what would happen, but the main thing here is actually that extra power. So a dynamic boost of an extra 25 watts to the 4060 is really gonna help out with gaming performance. And again, to keep everything nice and cool, we can also fully adjust the fan curve on the CPU fan and the GPU fan from Armory Crate. Now I want to jump into a little bit of gaming, and we're going to start off here with Elden Ring. We're at 1080p, given the uh, screen's resolution. We can't go any higher than that on the built-in screen, but if you wanted to do something at 1440p, you could always do it over HDMI. 4060 is really suited for higher frame rates at 1080p, and with Elden Ring, we're at maximum settings, running at a constant 60fps. This is one of those games that does love a little extra CPU power, and we've got plenty of it with that 7940HS. Next thing I wanted to take a look at were a few benchmarks I ran on this laptop. And the first one here is Geekbench 6, single core, 2,609, multi, 12,043. Absolutely amazing scores here coming out of this new AMD Zen 4 APU. And the next one I ran here was Cinebench R23, kind of breezed right through this. Total multi-core score, 17,798. And next up, I ran some GPU benchmarks on that RTX 4060. 3D Mark Firestrike coming in with a very impressive 25,784. And finally, Time Spy with an 11,294. So this is actually the first time I'm testing out the RTX 4060 laptop variant, and it's looking really great for 1080p gaming. Of course, with lower settings, medium, high mixes, we could do 1440p, but with this Asus Tough A17, we've got that 1080p display, so 1080p Ultra is really where it's at. Here's Horizon Zero Dawn Ultra, obviously 1080p, no DLSS. And we're gonna leave DLSS off with everything that we can, except for Cyberpunk 2077, because when I'm using the ray tracing preset, it automatically uses DLSS. But other than that, we're not gonna be using any kind of resolution scale with the other games. But with this, we got an average of 115 FPS. Next on the list, Forza Horizon 5 Extreme Settings, and I know for a fact that this laptop will run this game at 4K high settings over HDMI. I did test it out. We got an average of 73 FPS. Looked really great, but uh, with this 1080p display, we can jack it up all the way and get an average of 118 FPS. Moving over to Cyberpunk 2077, 1080p ray tracing set to medium, and with this it does enable DLSS. I did try ray tracing ultra and was right there on the edge. I did have some dips into the mid 50s, so I just took it down to medium. Looks great like this and it plays just fine. We got an average of 63 FPS with ray tracing on the RTX 4060. God of War Ultra, like I mentioned, no DLSS, so we don't need any kind of scaling here. Getting an average of 73 FPS on the 4060 paired up with this Ryzen 9 7940HS. And the final thing I tested here was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I like using the built-in benchmark. 1080p ultra settings, no DLSS, very impressive, but it's a pretty well optimized game. You know, I can actually run this on APUs pretty well. 
but it's not going to come anywhere close to this laptop's average of 166 FPS with a low of 111. This is one of those games that's really going to take advantage of that 144 Hz display. So overall, really impressed by the performance here, especially on the CPU side of things. The 7948HS does deserve to be paired up with something a little more powerful, but the RTX 4060 does keep the cost down, and you can really game on this machine. I was able to run everything that I threw at it without an issue, ultra settings, and even sometimes over, if the game permitted, like an extreme setting. Plus, the RTX 4060 handles ray tracing better than I thought it would. So if you're interested in learning a little more, I will leave some links to Micro Center's website in the description. So again, I do want to thank Micro Center for sponsoring this video. And real quick, if you weren't familiar, over on their website, they do have a custom PC builder. So from here, you can select each and every part. It'll tell you if it's in stock and what store it's in stock at. Once you get everything selected, they can have all the parts ready for you in store within 18 minutes. And if you don't feel like building it, they also have an option where they can build it for you. It'll definitely save some people time and headache of kind of troubleshooting if something doesn't go right the first time you try to boot it up. So yeah, that's an awesome option. And once your build is finished and up and running, they've got a cool promotion going on right now. You can submit your build to the Build Showcase and get a $25 off coupon that works in store. You just need to submit your build to the link in the description and they'll email you the Micro Center code worth $25. And again, if you're near the Indianapolis area, summer 2023, got a new store coming and you can sign up here for a 128 gigabyte flash drive for free. So if you're interested in learning more about Micro Center, I'll leave some links in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if there's anything else you want to see running on the 2023 Asus Tough A17, uh, I could definitely make another video. We could test out some more games, some emulation, or even install Linux on this thing. It's really up to you, but it'd be really cool if you could hit that subscribe button and think about turning notifications on so you know when I post the next one. But like always, thanks for watching.